welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold, uh, the resident redneck, and today we're going to finish up the uh, the HMI for the Grizzly Spindle Power Feed, and I, I think things are going to go really good. They did in the last part there, and this part shouldn't be any different. So instead of me talking on about it a long time, let's just get on with it. We're going to interrupt our regularly scheduled program here for the latest mail arrival. And uh, when I made the, the light go up under my mill head there, uh, Mr. Chuck Kirchner heard Pierre say that uh, that light looked like a redneck's nightmare. And and I guess he couldn't couldn't abide by uh, you know the the appearance or something. So he he sent me a, an email and said he was going to make me a good light and one that was just right and this is it and you have to admit it does look a whole lot better than the one I did uh, I'll, I'll dig down the other one and we'll set them side by side okay so there's my rednecks nightmare with all the little clamps and stuff on it and Mr. Chuck Kirchner's fine masterpiece here which is obviously a whole lot better looking piece of equipment so we'll go and we'll just hook his equipment up and see how much nicer it looks. There we go. I got it down there. Got to find the power wire. There we go. And I think his is quite possibly brighter than what I had on there. And it fits very well, so I think it's going to be just fine for a long time. The only problems I ever have with any of these things is when I raise the raise the quill up, you know, it it gets awful close to the works. In fact, it kind of touches, so I have to be careful not to squish it or anything. But having light is important and there it is and something else I'm going to turn this over so you don't have to be offended by the by the appearance Mr. Mr. Chuck Kircher also sent me this brochure right here I'll zoom in on it kind of close as well as I can without cutting any of it off and uh, there's uh, the place that he works. He's a re retired uh, military veteran, and uh, he spends his time now making show ribbons and trophies and things like that. And there is the address. If you want to pause your video and get a look, you can find him right there. And you can buy some of the uh, nice products that they have to offer which undoubtedly there's a lot of it okay now then I'll move on to what I came out here in the garage for besides that and that's to cut a hole in my project box to put that LCD screen through I'm tired of having it flopping around on the on the, the serving tray there eh, another option and I got some carbide and stuff there in the end mills there's my project box it's got a little outline molded in it there for a small LCD but my LCD is big enough to take up the most of it so I can't use that fancy little feature it'll probably actually look a little ugly there but I'm going to take this guy and put a the right size collar in it and put a little end mill in there and we're going to cut the hole with the mill so that I can make it square. I'm really, really bad about cutting holes with, uh, <laughs> with you know, regular cutting implements in, in things like this. I'd make a real ragged, crooked cut. And then it'd look more like a redneck's nightmare, huh? So I'm going to set up here and cut the little booger out. Now this may not be perfectly centered, but it's where I want it, so that's where I'm going to make it. And the thing's measured in millimeters, so I switched my DRO over to millimeters, and we're going to do this one in millimeters. 
you can't abide metric, well, I don't know. Maybe it's time to skip ahead a, a minute or two. All right, so I got my DR on the metric scale, and when I finish down to zero here on the X direction, or as some people say on the X direction, uh, I'll be there. It'll be finished, and then I can find out if I measured wrong or calculated wrong or did something wrong. A lot of times I do, so I wouldn't be surprised if I did this time. At least it's a square hole. It may not be the right size, but it's square. A lot to be said for that. When I tightened this thing down in the vise, I was kind of worried about how tight I could get it, especially considering it's kind of angled. Then I remembered AVE said, tighten it down till you hear the plastic crack and back off a turn. I don't know. All right, so I've got uh, the project box loaded with the Arduino and I've got a touch screen running the motor and it easily changes directions slow it down speed it up stop it start it change directions Slow down. Okay, so the gears are supposed to come tomorrow. And then I'll put... One of the gears will have to be bored out a little bit to fit the shaft. And I'll have to make a bracket and several little things like that. I'll also have to work on uh, getting a, the power supply set up. And I'm not going to have every little device out there with its own DC power supply. So I'm going to splice this power supply into the little wiper motor I've already got out there. And take that other power supply down and then I'm going to get a little cabinet and, and put uh, a couple of voltage regulators in there so I can drop the power down to 5 volts so to run the Arduino and drop some more of the power down say to 12 volts for anything else that needs you know 12 volt power and this this uh, power supply right here is a 48 volt and I thought I needed it for the for the stepper motor I probably don't it probably didn't need it for the stepper motor at all but I've got the 48 volts and it'll supply power for a whole lot of different AC systems so I'm going to use it for everything in the future that needs DC. Let's go see what Bubba's doing if we can. Well, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> it seems like Bubba was over at his girlfriend Bubba's, <laughs> Bubba Sue's house, and uh, she started missing him for a minute, so she went in the kitchen there. He was stalking around with fly swatter, and she says, what you hunting? He says, I'm hunting flies. So she kind of grins. She says, well, you, you kidding any? Bubba says, yeah. He says, I got three males and two females. And Bubba Sue says, well, uh, just how do you know that? Bubba says, on account of three of them was on a beer can and two of them was on the phone. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, you all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.